from divine sistar of the light adrian elise october 7 through 14 2024 time to fly supernova astrology update we continue to move through an incredibly dynamic time of astrology last week we had the second eclipse of the season with an intense lining up in libra the sun and mercury just crossed over the south node of the moon and black moon lilith in libra we are looking at deep dark issues and energies around past karmic relationships it is time for humanity to set itself free from external control and manipulation we are each claiming our autonomy as we release and detox the poisons and programming we are purifying ourselves back to our original soul essence mercury and the sun in libra are making an opposition with chiron and aries this week Freeing ourselves from the past means we need to be ready to move into the future. These oppositions are giving us the strength and focus to claim back our life force and energy from where we have given it away. The best way to overcome getting triggered is to completely heal the trigger. Moment to moment we have a choice to be present with the present peace of mother or to allow our energy to be stolen from attention on false trauma and drama narratives. We are facing down the wounded stories in order to heal them for good. Chiron is sitting at 21 degrees Aries, an exact sextile to Jupiter and Gemini. Both are retrograde and will stay in exact sextile at 21 degrees through November 19th. We will continue to feel the gift of this dynamic influence into the month of December. This is giving us a powerful impetus to completely break free from the chains that have kept us from expressing our true expression. Two and one make three, indicating a great creative power which is available to us. The energy created when we come together is more than the original parts. We are exponential. Together we can do anything. Mercury and the Sun in Libra will also be in trine with Jupiter and Gemini. These trines and sextiles bring a great power to the Mercury and Sun's opposition with Chiron, which happens at the same time. It's like a slingshot of energy, giving us the perfect moment to completely break free from the past and all toxic relations on all levels. We are coming back to love. We are being helped along by a sweet, grand water trine, with Mars in Cancer, Saturn in Pisces, and Venus in Cancer. Venus is just finishing up a trine with Saturn, and will come into exact trine with Mars in Cancer on October 8th. We are moving the wheel of time forward. We are standing up as the warriors we are, for the mother's nurturing love. We are learning to really receive again. We are hooking ourselves back up to creative source. Next week's Aries full moon happens on October 17th at 24 degrees Aries. This will mark a lineup in the sky between powerful planets at the end degrees of the signs. Pluto in Capricorn is still in close sextile to Neptune in Pisces at 28 degrees. Don't forget the magic, says this sweet sextile. Chiron and the full moon will be at 21 and 24 degrees Aries. Uranus will be at 26 degrees Taurus. Jupiter at 21 degrees Gemini and Mars at 22 degrees Cancer. This lining up of planets across the signs creates a star pattern and speaks to a full activation of our power and potential. The only sign between Capricorn and Cancer not represented is Aquarius. This is confirming that the leap we are making, this lining up of timelines, is all about moving into the Aquarian age. It's time to turn on our light body and take flight. The only way out of this mess for us supernova souls is to evolve beyond the constructs of any limitations. It's time to fly. From AdrianElise.com